We are here with Dr. As. Say hello. Hello. What is your social media platform of choice and the handle on that account? Probably Dr. Oz on Facebook. Facebook. Interesting. Do you feel like most of your fans and followers are on Facebook? We, we get a lot of traction when we post on Facebook. We, you know, we have a big following on Twitter, probably 4 million people. I, I, I love Instagram. Snapchat's the only way my kids talk to me these days. But Facebook is a comfortable way for us to spread the word. We've got eight, almost 7.5 million people now. Uh, so we, when we, do, for example, live stream every Wednesday, and we get the reach of half a million people effortlessly. And it's a nice way for me to keep up to, to date on things that I think are important to the audience. So I'll spontaneously get into stuff when I think they need to hear about it. We use the show, obviously, for the really deep, thoughtful con commentary of what's going on in America. But social media is a uniquely effective way of telling people right now what they ought to do differently. How do you feel like social media plays a role in, in producing your show specifically, but then kind of daytime television in general? Because I feel like it's kind of replace a little bit of what daytime television gave to people. I don't think it replaces what daytime television gives you. It turbocharges it because we harvest a lot of insights. We can keep it on top of, top of themes that are, that are starting to resonate with audiences. We get a lot of our guests from social media. You know, popular uh, posters are folks we want to have on the program anyway. But most importantly, I can do a, a biopsy of America on social media pretty quickly and figure out, is this something you want to know more about or you already, you already got enough or and that's a really important thing. For example, big, or big uh, breaking news on soft drinks and in particular artificial sweeteners, tripling dementia and stroke rates. So I can tell if you care about that or not almost immediately. And if you care about it, I'll also point out that your brain shrinks if you're young and start drinking diet sodas. So now you're really into it. I can go on down that, that, uh, that rabbit hole. So there's a lot of power in social media if you know how to use it. But what you don't want to do is advertise on it all the time because I think that wears people down. So the best metaphor that I've been using is, it's like being at a cocktail party. If I'm telling you stuff that's sort of cool, you wanna know anyway, you'll stay with me. But if I start going at you like this with ideas, you'll try to find someone else to talk to. Am I right? Very yes. true. So my last question for both of you is, do you have any kind of like guilty pleasure or social media person that you like to follow on like Instagram or Facebook or YouTube? I just discovered this Dr. Simon Orion. Do you know, oh my gosh, it's, it's obs I'm obsessed. So like Instagram video? Yes, yeah, yeah. I think before and afters, like since Instagram's so visual, it, it, they perform really well. Those Brazilian butt enhancements? Holy cow. I am obsessed. I want one. <laughs> How about you? I follow Daphne Oz, <laughs> yeah. who happens to be my daughter hosting the Chew, but mostly I follow her for the pictures of my grandkids. Oh, just to get a little, bi little bite of them. Very cute. I do love still using social media for your family, so that's very cool. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you nice. inside. Take care.